Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nara35 here, bringing you guys a new video after having not brought y'all one in a in a long time, as usual. <laughs> but on this, I got a, a quick little pickups video that I, you know, some games I've been picking up the past couple months and stuff. So, and you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Right, so first off, I know I collected like the majority of the 360 games that I've wanted over time, and I'm happy about that. But there was like a couple more that I uh forgot about that I remember that I've been wanting to play for a while so I just said oh yeah I remember those but um so I sought them out after I, something reminded me about them after and I haven't thought about it in a long time and one of those uh, games I saw a long time ago was uh Prey the original Prey for the uh, 360 that came out uh, I think this was um, a launch title for the 360, or around the time of a launch title for the 360. I remember when this, like I said, I remember when this first came. I remember seeing like um, the review of this on uh, X Play on G4. If anybody knows, remembers what an X Play was. So, and I always thought the game looked kind of interesting back then, but I, I never played. Even you know, when my friends that had 360s, as far as I, I don't think they had this particular game. So I've never actually played the original Prey, but I've seen like you know a couple videos and gameplays and stuff of it it's been developed by a human head and this is truly a next generation game whose ideas and visual sheen could have could never be executed on anything other than the most cutting edge console platform xbox 360 it's a real masterpiece 360 magazine and here's the uh back of it a game that's quite quite unique more new and inventive ideas in it than the average year's FPS output combined. An extraterrestrial first person shooter that will shatter your perception of reality. Alright, sorry about that. My uh, camera's battery is running all of a sudden. I had to uh, charge my camera really quick. But uh, yeah, there's that. And then there's the, uh, the back of the case. Living weapons. The faithful sidekick. Vehicles, giant environments, jaw-dropping, memorable moments, a story of redemption and destiny, and a three-hour epic soundtrack by Jeremy Soule, um, Oblivion, Guild Wars. Oh, wait, he did the music for Oblivion? Like, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion? Bro, I love that game. <laughs> um, the FPS of the year is in your hands. Imagine a place where the gravity isn't always down. It can be con controlled, twisted, flipped, and even wrapped around small planetoids. Imagine walking on walls and ceilings. Can you handle this new challenge? Uh, multiple gameplay innovations from the developer that brought you bullet time, including death walk, dying is no longer annoying, it's it, it, dying is no longer annoying. It's fun, and uh, spirit walk. Leave your your body to explore, ambush, and solve mind blowing puzzles. And that's the main character, Tommy. And this is a uh, girlfriend and stuff. So yeah, I've I've always heard of Prey before, like back when it originally came out. But I've never, like I said, I never played it before, so. This is my first experience playing the game whenever I do get around to playing. That's what the disc looks like. You know, it's always a shame that the uh, sequel for this game got cancelled. Like, the original sequel for this game they were uh, working on years ago. It looked like it would have been really, really good. But it, it, unfortunately, it got cancelled. I haven't played the reboot or whatever of the Prey, like Prey 20, when did it come out, 2017, 2016, 2017, the Prey from that year. I haven't played that one either. While people say, you know, it doesn't you know, make up for the cancellation of Prey 2, Prey 2017 on its own right is still a pretty good game. It's kind of like an immersive sim type of game, kind of like Bioshock, which stuff like that. And I probably should try to get around to playing that uh the reboot pray at some point because I do enjoy uh, Bioshock a lot so this is in its own right it's still a pretty good game it's the real deal pray the soundtrack go to that and here's the uh, registration card and it came with the registration card so that's pretty cool 
This is a really mint, uh, minty condition version of this game. You know, the case, the manual, the disc, everything looks uh, really good in it. So that's always a plus in my opinion. I don't want this video to take forever, so I'm just going to flip through the manual really quick. I'm not going to you know, look at every page, but because I got some other games I want to do. But The manual is in crisp condition, so that's nice. Yet another added to the list of uh, games I can't wait to play in the backlog. The never, seemingly never ending backlog. Even if you're playing through the games, it seems like it's hard to make a dent in it, but I vow to do it at some point. Just, you know, whenever I get the chance to play whatever. Yeah, it's just a quick look through the uh, Prey manual and stuff. Okay, the next uh, Xbox 360 game I picked up that I remembered about was um, Quake 4. This was another game I saw on the 360 back then. I think it was around the same time as uh, Prey. I um, saw all the gameplay and stuff, and this still always thought it looked pretty interesting, and I wanted to play it, but I never had the opportunity to, so now that I'm clutching for the been collecting for a 360 like I said before you know just pick up um whatever games that look interesting to me that I just never got around to playing at the time the battle outdoors using tanks and walkers fight with the support of an elite squad Com compete online in f fast action arena style multiplayer This is in a desperate war for Earth's survival against an unrelenting alien army. The only way to defeat them is to become one of them. Armed with advanced weaponry and vehicles and aided by an elite squad of Marines, you take the battle to the heart of the Strog home planet. You become Earth's only hope for victory. Inclu also includes Quake 4, the making of Quake 2. Now in a sec, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna uh, get to something to mention about uh, that quick two inclusion right here. I'm gonna mention something about that here in a second. But first, I just wanna you know, flip through this. And so there's the game disc for Quake Four. I've always heard of Quake and been aware of it, but I've never played any of the games. This list that includes the making of and Quake um, 2. And here's like the little paper that tells you the controls. Well, the, the Quake 2 controls. for manual. I'm gonna flip through this really quick too. Just do a quick scan through the manual, you know how it is. <laughs> If you wanted to read it, I suppose.
Like I said, now what I was about to mention before uh, about the, the whole uh, Quake 2 thing back here is that uh, when I first got this game, I actually made a mistake. Well, I didn't make a mistake, I just didn't know at the time, I didn't notice it, but um, there's actually two uh, different versions slash variation. Well, I say two. There's actually just another, uh, there's another uh, variation or um, a di a version of this game that exists, and it's actually... Uh, This one right here, this is the one I got when I first, um, when I first bought this, this is actually the version that I got, and I actually, like I said, just wasn't aware of the thing, now, if, just gonna, let you just sit here and see if you can, and see if you can, like, uh, spot the difference, I mean, if you really look at it side by side, you probably can, but I just, let like I said, wasn't aware of it at the time, and I'll let you guys know for anyone that's, you know, curious about wanted to pick this game up on the 360 or just your type of variant collectors or whatever there's two different versions of this game now and the version that i originally wanted and sought after was this one right here and it has the um raven so i think it's raven software i think they're called and the id um logo on the front cover right here this version that has this right that has those two logos on the front right there is, is the only version of this game that comes with um, the bonus disc that includes Quake 4 making up and the Quake 2. This is the only version on the 360 that has the uh, bonus disc. This version over here does not come with the bonus disc. It's just the regular game itself. And the way you can tell this version is because down here it has the Bethesda logo. So instead of it being the, um, the Raven software and the ID logo over here, it's the Bethesda logo. And on the back is a little bit different too. As you can see, on the back has Bethesda and Zenimax because I think Bethesda wound up buying out a uh, human head a while back. So when they bought them out, they must have uh, reprinted these games that came with after Bethesda bought. They must have reprinted these games. So uh, I guess this is the reprint. Well, yeah, it would make sense for this to be a reprint because that's Bethesda and Zenimax. And it still has um, the Raven and ID logos on it there, but they've been kind of like downscaled, or whatever. And this is the back of the. Um, and as you can see back here, there is no mention of the um, the bonus disc for Quake for the Quake 2 bonus disc. And there's no mention of it back here on this one because this version of the game does not have the bonus disc. This does take up more space. It just repeats the. Um, the summary of the game back here but in like Spanish you know like they did at the time a lot back then so yeah Thank you, I guess oh, that's the down of the man but yeah this this is the um, Bethesda version of the game the back cover of it of the Bethesda version right here and then this back here is as you can see you know the difference and then the uh, Raven software and ID logo are back here and they're a lot bigger on this side as opposed to how they are you know, right right there. So yeah, be, be sure so if any of you if anyone watching this video, if you ever um, like I say if you ever want specifically the version of the game that comes with the bonus disc or you know you're a variant uh, type of collector so you want both variants or whatever, there are two there's you know two different variants of Quake 4. The one that has the Raven software ID logo on the front, enlarged like that, will have the bonus disc when you open it. This is the bonus disc version. It's the only way to get Quake 2 on the 360, as far as I know, disc disc wise at least. Is the only way to get it is with this version right here, and it will have the um, ID and Raven software logo like that on the disc for this version of the game. And then meanwhile, I'm not going to open this because this one is a seal, so I'm not, um, this isn't the one I wanted, so I'm not going to bother opening this, but this version that has the Bethesda logo does not have the, um, does not come with the bonus disc, so, yeah, be on the lookout for that in case you, uh, want, in case you want the bonus disc and you're just a type of collector that wants both versions, there are two different versions of this, so, 
yeah, be on the lookout which one you want. But um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there, just you know, so anyone else doesn't make the uh, same mistake I made at first. Because if you don't know about that or you're not looking, you know, specifically what to look for, it's hard to tell, and it's easy to get the wrong version because they look pretty si similar at first glance, unless you already know what you're looking for. Okay, so after that education lesson, the next uh, pickup I got now is the uh, PlayStation stuff, and that's a uh, Battle on Wonder World. Now I know this game, you know, when it came out, was getting receiving a whole bunch of hate and stuff. And when I was looking at the, you know, uh, some of the game and stuff, I'm like, hey, you know what? Freak the haters. <laughs> I still like this game looked interesting to me, to me when it was like getting, you know, announced and shown and stuff. I'm like, you know, I think I might try to check this game out. So you know, it came out and it was getting, you know, really like destroyed by like people on, on YouTube and the internet and stuff. I was like, you know, I still want to give the game a fair chance. Plus, I've actually came across a couple, you know, I've seen a couple YouTube videos where people, you know, said I actually do like the game. Like, um, like, uh, uh Pete Dore, he's a guy on YouTube and on Twitch, and he's played this game. He said he, he enjoyed, still managed to get some enjoyment out of it, too. I'm like, you know what, that, that's, you know, what I want to, I just want to play like a, you know, just a, uh, 3D platformer that, um, you know, just the standard, you know, uh, of the somewhat reminiscent of the PS2 era 3D platform. That's all I'm looking to play right now, and that's pretty much what that is. I might put it. I'll probably put a link to his video if you guys wanted to check that out if you're interested. And um, my guy, I've talked about. Uh, I've mentioned the channel before called um, uh, Thor High Heels. He also uploaded a video talking about this game where he said he had a. A pretty good opinion on it. I mean, yeah, the game has flaws and stuff. It's not a perfect game, but I'm like, you know what? I still want to uh, play it. So I just waited till it was a price drop. I think I paid like well, like 30 or 40 dollars for it on Amazon when the price dropped. And like, you know what? Seems like the perfect uh, price to pay for this game. I'm sure the price is around that now, or maybe even a little bit lower by the time you know. Uh, it probably by the time I uh, do this. You know, uh, showed this video, so yeah, I'd say whatever 30 40 bucks would probably be well worth it for this game. But, um, Leo and Emma are led into Wonder World by the mysterious Balan. They must journey through 12 dreamlike stages, discovering over 80 different costumes to find a way to bring balance to others and themselves. This one is still sealed, so I'm not going to open this uh, yet until you know, eventually I get around to playing it. And then you know, I'll show like a little video of me playing that too. I do want to get back to uploading um, videos of me trying out some of these games so I get my uh, capture card set up working again because I got need a new splitter for my uh, PS3 and stuff like that. But yeah, basically, you know, I. Uh, despite all the hate and stuff this game's been getting, I've seen some other people say, you know, the game is not perfect, but it's still an enjoyable game if you just go into it with the right mindset. I'm like, I like that, so I still want to give this game a fair chance despite all the hate and criticism it's been getting like crazy when, when it first came out. But yeah, it's a battle on Wonder World. And lastly, I picked up this little game right here, uh, Iconoclast for the PlayStation Vita. <laughs> This is only like my second, like actually full physical uh, Vita game. My first one being Uncharted Golden Abyss. There's still, you know, a few Vita games out there I would like to collect for, but man, the Vita is getting like crazy expensive lately. So we like to get, um, you know, as many of the games I want for before they get too out of hand. So hopefully, I'm, still, I mean, I'm not really focusing mainly on Vita right now. I'm still trying to get like the rest of my. Uh, PS3 collection and stuff finished off and getting close to nearing the end of that thankfully for prices get ridiculous even more than like, you know, like they have been lately with these freaking uh, prices and stuff like that but yeah at some point hopefully I, by the time I get around to really like wanting to get grab all the Vita games I want hopefully there won't be you know hundreds of dollars or anything or hundreds of thousands or however much dollars by then but um Use your giant ranch to crush machines and help those in need. Uh, Robin just wants to be a, a mechanic and help people, but without a license, she's a sinner in mother's eyes. Ever since picking up her ranch, the world has been going nuts and she's wanted to bolt it back together. Uh, new, now, penance is... I'm trying to read this through like the 
camera viewfinder instead of just reading it through the like instead of actually reading it. Now Penance is writing down on everyone she's she loves and one concern the agents are after her. Font is very small and it's because it's a very small case, but yeah, it's an old um limited run. I actually I didn't order this from Limited Run. I got this off of Amazon myself. I noticed it was on Amazon. It wasn't overly expensive neither. So I'm like, you know what? Cool. I'm gonna hurry up and buy this real quick. I, I think I tried to actually order this through Amazon, like or not Amazon. I tried to order this through um, Limited Run's website at the time, but like it got sold out so fast, I couldn't uh, get a hold of it. But I came across on Amazon like last month or something like that. I'm like, you know what? I'm buying it. <laughs> I got robbed out of getting it from Limited Run's website, so that I, hopefully I can snag it through um, snag it through Amazon and I did, so this is cool. This is a, my, officially my second um, physical Vita game I have. I saw this gameplay of this and I thought it looked pretty cool. I'm like, you know, I want the Vita version. I feel like this game would be pretty fun to play on the Vita, so held out and finally got a copy of it so that's pretty cool look forward to playing this at some point playing my Vita a little more often just you know would like to get some more games for like maybe like Dragon's Crown and some and stuff like that that's pretty much my pickups for the month of uh, June for the months of June and July and there's four little games here and there you know, it's kind of just picking up whatever I can whenever I can and hopefully before these freaking prices getting more ridiculous than they already are but um Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm Stanford35, and I'm out. Please don't forget to rate and comment and subscribe. Peace.